हेलो गुड इवनिंग हाय सो वेर इन जीएस थ्री मॉर्निंग वेर इन जीएस वन एंड थ्री अगेन वेर कम टू जीएस थ्री so today we will discuss the syllabus and uh, we will understand how questions are framed for particular syllabus understanding that is very important correct so what do you know about uh, the syllabus so the should evening class should come from your side Even, huh? linkages between development and spread of extremism so that was first topic right and other topics so write down the syllabus first right syllabus for internal security and internal security preparation is pretty easy because why because syllabus is only clear and defined either so we just have to take the topic signs and questions will be from the same topics right unlike job, uh, uh, environment where there is only one term for conservation in that everything it includes so here there is a clear cut uh, syllabus has been given right so understand this uh, so the first topic is linkages between linkages between So then you will understand exactly what will we study in this subject, right? Linkage is between what development, development and spread of extremism. Then a basic smart is built up. Spread of ಆಟಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಕಾಮಿಡಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಏನೋ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಬಂದಾಗ ಆಯ್ತು ಕಾಲ್ ಬಂದಿತ್ತ ಓಕೆ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿದೆ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಸಿ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹತ್ರ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಐ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಯು ರೈಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಬೈ ನೆನಪಿರ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬರ್ದಾಗ ನಿಮ್ ಮನ್ಸಿಗೆ ನೆಮ್ಮದಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಓದಿದೀನಿ ಅದು ಆಗಿದೆ ರೈಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ role of external state and non state actors state and non state actors in the role in what in creating challenges to internal security right now complete it in creating challenges to internal security ಸಿ ಆರಾಮಾಗಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮುಗಿಸ್ಕೋಣ ದಿಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಅಟ್ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ so you'll have advantage over other people who have not focused on this much correct so main idea idhar va mind alli mains paper aagbeku ante so this mainly mains perspective so we'll take the topics one by one we'll discuss 
I'll take your opinions, you take my opinion. So like that we'll move on, right? So then we will consolidate and make notes and proceed, right? Approximately when hours if I take daily to, to be 15, 15 hours. Per day if I take two hours, maybe in 10 days. 10 days we can finish. That is the target. 10 to 15 days at max. Okay. So what is your intention behind asking this question? <laughs> no, it's no like <laughs> Okay. That's all right. No other hidden intentions. No, 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 not even. See, this is a core subjects will take. And uh, for geography, if I had been given daily three hours, would have finished early. Daily one and a half hours, and in that uh, time, I was at 12 15, sir. So it won't go quick. Right. But these subjects, jaldi books burn. Okay. Jaldi andre not like that. But chanak books are not that is it. No, then. It will be option in towards the ask to unmute and towards the but uh, unmute direct option. Ask to unmute a code. Do I have that control over here? Or unmute her? Because I am the host. Allah, I don't know. I mean, like, here the other questions. So, discuss more. That. That is, what is the big thing? That is, what is the big thing? But, but, some of them are different. Mama, come. Hey, I'm not sure. Yes. Uh, so next, Bariri. Next topic in. So first, linkages between development and spread of extremism. Second, role of Varshini, what check my Version Eva can say check my In the worst of worst of the worst of the country, my friend. I don't know if you're not going to be able to do it.
ವರ್ಷಿಣಿ ಇವಾಗ ಒಂದ್ಸಲ ಆನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅನ್ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಬೇರೆ ಯಾರಾದ್ರೂ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಒಂದ್ಸಲ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಚಾಟ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಹೇಳಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಟ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇಲ್ಲಾಂದ್ರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಲಾಗಿನ್ ಆಗಿ ಇವಾಗ ಅನ್ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ಯಾ ಅದರ್ external factors fine but state actors and non state actors we can divide external actors so no private players external external means out of india simple foreign ah uh, role of external first state and non state actors external state means and external non state means separate separate alwa external state actors means what example kodi example kodi ಇಂಡಿಯಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇವಾಗ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಆಂಧ್ರ ಪ್ರದೇಶ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟಿವ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಫೆಡರೇಷನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ ಪವರ್ right so like indian state we say correct so that is state that is that state i'm talking right so in this case external state actors and external non state actors means what external state actors means what huh ah uh, state actor means like established governments will support for example you take pakistan it was involved in khalistan movement khalistan movement in punjab which wanted to separate punjab from india creating one bigger khalistan region right so the syllabus so is external state actors and non state actors non state actors what is the role of state actors and non state actors in uh, posing challenges to internal security of india external state actor means external governments like if you say pakistan like china right especially these countries right we can take sri lanka also whatever external state right non state actor means mainly non state actors are the terrorist groups terrorist groups right non these are not state these are not state sponsored these are non state groups they are involved in challenging security issues uh, sec- uh, security of india internal security of india so in that syllabus i mean uh, they have given role of external state and non state actors in creating challenges to internal security right uh, so next uh, next we'll we'll discuss the questions on each topic first uh, write down the finish the syllabus this is the second topic right so third topic would be challenges to internal security third you know challenges to internal security 
internal security through okay through um, communication networks okay then so that we can media and social network sites these are little bit advanced topics right communication channels they are using social media networks they are using so media right then what is the role of media in internal security that was the topic that is the topic then then cyber security within this we have cyber security cyber security is also very important topic in present time right cyber security uh, money laundering money laundering and its prevention so these two topics are cyber top cyber security and money laundering okay these two are separate topics okay so just like we take what is cyber security okay what are the challenges and what are the recent cyber security issues in india right to our critical infrastructure projects so all of that we are studying here in mass and this money money laundering what is money laundering money laundering othalla andre what is blackmail in simpler terms you can say but you are not disclosing the source from which you are earning the money the source of money is hidden or uh, through back channels it will be brought to the uh, mainstream right hawala money and all we say so such concepts we study as part of money laundering correct and role of media these you can easily understand right so next security challenges and their management in border areas next fourth fourth one yena da security security challenges and the and the management well in border areas right so our border border areas are vulnerable for security issues because there we can link this concept to role of external state and non state actors in challenging in india central security in north eastern insurgency agutha where uh, one of the primary reason is porous borders are there porous borders north east mainly from myanmar okay these tribal groups are connected insurgents travel there exchange of uh, arms and men do happen along our borders so along the borders what are the security challenges are there and how we are managing it what are the forces we have deployed there right what are the technological measures that we have taken so all of those concepts will study here simple right along border areas right border areas this could be eastern border or western border with pakistan right or it could be border with nepal and mainly myanmar and bangladesh so how we are managing that and uh, border modernization programs are also being conducted and what are the programs that government of india has been taking all of that we'll study here correct and also there is one more topic called linkages of organized crimes with terrorism there is a linkage of organized crimes with what is organized crime and what is terrorism there are many differences and how organized crime is leading to terrorism right so all of that we'll study one more topic here within this is linkages between and you know it's please uh pay enough attention and importance to every topic because from every topic questions are come right so it's like gift to you if you study properly and if you discuss here properly otherwise you may not may, you may not uh, understand the crux of the issues so that you will give uh, proper solutions with structured answer so linkages between what organized crimes organized crime and terrorism so uh, organized crimes with terrorism between what is that 
Linkage linkages of organized crime. Off. It should be off, right? Of organized crime is terrorism. Basically, we are linking this to right organized crime and terrorism. So here we study terrorism and how it is different from extremism. So next. Then last last topic is what? Security forces. Various security forces. Right? So this is uh, for making you understand what are the different kinds of security apparatus we have. Which ministry is there? Which is involved in this? And what are the forces? There are two types of armed forces is different. Right? And police, central police force is different. CAPF. And within that we have various forces. Right? Like the ISF, CRPF. ITBP, Assam Rifles. So there are different kinds of what? Security forces. So some forces are within Ministry of Home Affairs and the remaining Indian Army, Navy, Indian Air Force, they are in Ministry of Defense. Correct, Alva. Ministry of Defense, only there are some forces and Ministry of Home Affairs we have. For internal security, it is the responsibility of Ministry of Home Affairs and law and order is the responsibility of state. Understood? So one more thing you should understand that external security is mainly uh, referred as defense, which is under Ministry of Defense for external security. War Adre, usually Ministry of Defense is responsible. Ministry of Home Affairs is for internal security. Understanding this, fine. So last topic is various security forces. Write down. Various security forces. Various. Security forces, then various security forces, agencies, and their mandate. And their mandate. Mandate means what is the responsibility? Right? What is the responsibilities? Mm -hmm. Right. So let us understand few questions, recent questions on each topic now. Let us go through questions so that you will understand what you have to study, right? And why such questions have been asked, right? So first topic is what? Linkages between development and spread of extremism. Here, extremism concept is not correct. Matte where can extremism concept be there, right? Extremism, I have told you. Extremism, it includes left-wing extremism called Naxalism. Northeast insurgency, Jammu Kashmir insurgency, communalism, separatism. So these are all extremists, extre uh, various forms of extremism in India. Correct? Huh? These are various forms of extre various forms of extremism in India. Right. So what kind of questions could be asked here? This topic mele. When you go through your previous year question paper, you should know that this question has been asked from this topic only. Correct? For mains. And this exercise is very important for your preparation to be in an easy manner. Another systematic preparation, you should know that these are all the things I should study for these topics. Then for revision, while going for mains, you will be having that uh, consolidated knowledge, ordered knowledge. A confidence for Uthila Andre, scattered knowledge Idre will not find that confidence. Right. So there is a question, for example, I'll give you a few questions. I mean, just listen. No need to write down questions. You'll understand how it has been linked. Naxalism is a social, economic, and developmental issue. The question is this is 2022 question. Naxalism is a social, economic, and developmental issue manifesting as a violent internal security threat. So this is the statement they have given. You know that? Naxalism is a social, economic and developmental issue. You already know it. Alva. Manifesting as a violent internal security threat. How it is manifesting? It is manifesting as a internal security threat. Right? Violent internal, uh, violent internal security threat. This is the statement they have given. Further, in this context, you should consider this statement and write what you what you have to discuss is in this context discuss the emerging issues uh, gets a multi-layered strategy to tackle the menace of naxalism what what we should discuss 
I think the question is a little bit uh, missagi that's it. In, in my case. Okay. Okay. Uh, overall, the question says um, emerging issues gets a multi layered strategy to tackle the menace of uh, Naxalism. So there should be multi layer strategies. The point is what? Multi layer strategy. They understand the question. First statement they all themselves give up. Or a quote there. Statement. Alva, it's a political, uh, social, uh, economic, and political, a developmental issue. Social, economical, developmental issue. Right. Right. So, in this context, what, what should be our strategy to deal with? Multi, multi layered strategy should be there. Right. So, discuss. Right. How should we tackle the Naxalism? Discuss, uh, discuss as to how should we uh, tackle the Naxalism using multi layered strategy. Multi layered means single handed approach. One size fits all. One size fits all strategy should not be there. Correct? I only use police force. Right? I'll deploy the central armed police forces and I'll use these commandos like Cobra commandos. I'll use these strategies and fight with Naxalism. That should not be the approach. Just police violent forceful actions in the Ido solution agonta dala. So here we have to discuss multi-layered strategies. One kata development model. Developmental aspect. Because we the issue itself is like originated from these things. Correct. So this is all we, we, should, we will study here, right? So it is basic question only. Well, same thing, but you should answer in the format of the question that whatever uh, the way that has been asked first you should highlight that yes it is originated due to this should substantiate the statement that it, uh, the causes are rooted in social economic and developmental issues right so that we will discuss and yesterday some basics also we have understood right same things again and the solutions we will study understanding the questions right what in the same question discuss the emerging yes uh the issues are emerging so we need multi-layered strategies multi-layered approach multi-dimensional approach because the issues are emerging so there is something called urban maxalism the issues are emerging so to tackle such emerging issues we need to have multi-layered and uh, reason specific approaches correct so such question it is uh, understand the question go through questions first see this could be boring for you what this question uh, uh, we are just discussing questions but the importance it holds is huge trust me for this okay the importance that it holds because in whole syllabus decode arbitrary so we can run next uh, so one or two questions i'll take from each section Right. So there is one more question on left wing extremism. Again, Naxal. Naxalism male questions Bartana Ruth. Right. Left wing extremism is showing a downward trend, but still affects many parts of the country. Right. The trend is that uh, is many in many districts there is a downward trend. Right. This was asked in 2018. Briefly explain the government of India's approach to counter the challenge posed by left wing extremism. Again, solution. What are the measures that the government of India has taken? Which cause the decline in the extremist uh, activities in this region. So you know that in which region this extremism is prevalent in India. If you, if I ask you North India, South India, East, West, North, North India, do you say North India? East, yes, East, correct. Yes. So there was one more question this year, which was asked 2023 last year. Uh, I mean, this means winning of hearts and minds in terrorism affected areas is an essential step in restoring the trust of the population. Right? Um, discuss the measures adopted by the government in respect of, uh, in respect as part of the conflict resolution in Jammu and Kashmir. So this is ter terrorism affected areas. So you can com compare and uh, specifically with respect to Jammu Kashmir region. So he's asking winning of hearts and minds. 
is essential with in restoring the trust uh, trust of the population in the government system so we cannot just you uh, use our force and same again same understanding right same understanding that we should not just use force and uh, resolve these issues of terrorism or insurgency in jammu kashmir but we should win the minds and hearts of the people over there so that we should build a trust in the people towards the government right only when there is a trust our schemes our projects will get implemented correct we should then we will take may uh, take use of people in fighting such menaces insurgency fight madake general use madko bod nam when there is a proper trust <laughs> or when only when there is a trust our schemes developmental schemes will be implemented understood so that was the statement that that they have given already in this context like discuss the measures adopted by government in respect uh, so with similar understanding you have to write specifically what steps government has taken to win the hearts and minds of the people specifically in the areas of jammu and kashmir correct easy question andre uh we can be done easily with same understanding correct not so tough so this is the first uh ether questions barute linkages ali again they are showing development and extremism here winning the hearts and minds what governments what steps government has taken this is like developmental step uh, gov- uh developmental side and other side terrorism is kind of ex- extremism side so again this concept can be linked to extremism and development correct ah correct ah ilva nidha bartidya full active agidira energy idya okay next role of external state and non state actors what questions could be asked what questions could be asked in this for example there is a question uh, on uh, the cpec project anta ide china pakistan economic corridor kelidira alva cpec cpc means it's a part of belt and road initiative belt and road initiative of china china is building a infrastructural carrying out a, one infrastructural project right it's a global project okay connecting in asia africa europe right so various continents it is connecting so intercontinental project it is one branch of it it passes through our uh, pok right our pok uh, morning helidde nodi karakoram pass anta right so that is like a, in the part of uh, cpc project so question is cpc is viewed as a cardinal subset of china's larger one uh, belt and one road initiative correct uh, this 2018 question give a brief description of cpc and enumerate the reasons why india has distanced itself from the same it is like asking questions uh, see this question you can include in international relations also and also here because we have not joined the cpc cpc india join agila right many countries have joined but india is not joining why the major reason is that it is affecting or it is questioning the sovereignty status of india because pok inda hogtide pok we consider as the sovereign part of india right uh, but the project agbekandre uh, agreement yaru nadve agide that has happened between pakistan and china right so in according to us it is indian soil right so in indian soil how could they make an agreement and build such project you, because they say that that is their plan currently they are administering that region because it is illegally occupied them after 1948 india pakistan war right and also part of it is in, in akshay chin that is occupied by china so india has not joined it so we should write uh, why reasons why india has not joined it why india has distanced itself from the cpc project so again there are security issues so in that aspect we can connect it to security so it is asked in gs3 so gs3 means it should be security only gs3 alwa it's not ir in gs2 so such questions role of external non state and here state actors question in the role of state actors in challenging india's uh, security right internal security and there is a question on northeast insurgency and they have just asked the reasons analyze major reasons for the survival of arms insurgency in the regions so one of few of the reasons could be that they are supported by like arms supply and ideological supply 
they are given by non out i mean actors which are outside india it could be state and non state both right so question is about but in that topic we can study this right and uh, this year they was one more question on uavs uavs unmanned aerial vehicles right uh, so these uavs are used by our uh, adversaries mainly pakistan and china okay mainly pakistan and all in jammu kashmir they're speaking uh, why they are using to uh, across the borders to ferry arms drugs supply avella maadak use maartidda right so it is again topic related to role of uh, what external state and non state actors in challenging uh, securities uh, security internal security of india uh, right again comment on the measures comment on the measures being taken to tackle this threat okay again this will no the same concept is there we can study this as part of border security also correct next there is another topic right border uh, areas management of security in border areas so there we are using some technological uh, solutions for that technological solutions we are using so uavs to mitigate the threat of us we must use some technological measures along borders so in that topic also we can connect the same thing can we not we can okay so next uh, questions next topic would be uh, internal challenge to internal security through communication networks money laundering cyber security role role of media and all of this correct so here some of the question this year they asked what are the internal security challenges being faced by india you are the role of central intelligence and investigative agencies okay um, this is about like uh, we are using this concept should be this to question could be connected to um, the last topic that is uh, security forces and agencies and here also we can use because cyber security and all we, there are some we have agencies like certain and all okay so there is a direct question like keeping in view of india's central security analyze the impact of cross border cyber attacks cross border cyber attacks right malware attacks are happening right right ransomware attacks that time I, this question was asked in 2021 that time some attacks have happened actually there were rise in such attacks right so for that that question had come right cyber attacks cross border foreign al kutkondo cyber attacks martare ransomware anta kelidirala so such many other cyber attacks cyber attacks types are also there uh, uh, so we will study this as part of the syllabus they was role of the analyze the impact of cross border cyber attacks on india in india's internal security and uh, discuss the defensive measures taken uh, measures against this sophisticated attack attacks so these are usual topics that we come across understanding the questions yav tara questions keltidara anta nodi exact cyber security mele question ide right so there was a question on money laundering also right uh, so they have asked uh, discuss like elaborate measures to tackle the problem of money laundering both at national and international levels again there is a question on money land laundering and direct almost direct question right so now also be mindful of the current aff uh, current affairs in, in this section questions can come from both static portion and also current affairs remember it uh, almost like equal importance you can give naxalism if they ask the origin causes they will be same but recently few developments should have happened so should link it to that so it's a mix of both and you cannot exclude one and now almost in every question to take any question there will be uh, like in every answer there should be some part almost majority part would be static but current affairs will play a decisive role understood um so few more questions i'll discuss i'll just uh, tell you here number last uh, topic is security uh, challenges border management right i mean management security uh, issues management in border areas and also linkages 
with between organized crime and terrorism okay there is a question in uh, last year discuss the types of organized crimes direct question anyway we will organized crimes so now we will study describe the linkages between terrorist and organized crime that exist at the national and transnational transnational level syllabus ile ne hange kotide organized crime other types eno and inond en kotidare terrorist matte organized crime linkages en anta syllabus ile ne ide linkages of organized crime with terrorism last year question see new itar il direct irutte ili questions ee security subject alli correct a ಸೊ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ತಗೊಂಡು ಆರಾಮಾಗಿ ಮುಗಿಸೋದು ಈಸಿ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಒಂದು ಹತ್ತು ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಬರ್ಬೋದು ಅದನ್ನ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾ ದೆನ್ ಅನಲೈಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಅನಲೈಸ್ ದ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಟೆರರಿಸಮ್ ಟೆರರಿಸಮ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಟೆರರಿಸಮ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾಜಸ್ ಕಾಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆರರಿಸಮ್ ಲಿಂಕೇಜಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಒಬ್ನಾಕ್ಸಿಯಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸಸ್ 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 ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಟೆರರಿಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸ್ nexus between terrorist and state actors right and uh, nexus between terrorist groups and uh, some mainstream political fronts correct atharana agbod alwa so obnoxious nexus is there right so analyze the complexity and intensity of terrorism its causes linkages and obnoxious nexus it, it is basic question right basic question alwa ido also suggest measures required to be taken to eradicate the menace of terrorism so this is basic question when we have to do uh, 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 study this terrorism definitely idhe tara study martivi so it is like applying the same points correct ah huh? one more for effective border area management discuss the steps required to be taken to deny local support to militants and also suggest ways or uh, to manage favorable perceptions among locals so here regarding border security management here it is about the role of local people over there right role of local people in the management of uh, internal security in the border areas simple question alwa simple question but kind of sulpa uh, uh, should have that intrinsic ability to uh, draw point, points from various sources and then club it and write so there is a loc mail on question is there loc loc bage gotalva loc is a de facto line between pakistan and india gotalva okay and how loc was drawn that also you know in which context so analyze the internal security threats and trans border crimes along myanmar bangladesh and pakistan borders including loc right uh again border areas so this is including loc but not just limited to it uh because we have to discuss in the context of myanmar and bangladesh also also discuss the role played by various security forces in this regard what are the security forces which are uh easy question almost easy question direct question because when we study security forces we study this yav regionally yav security force deploy madidara right and what are their success failures that all we study so almost direct questions can you not see that most of the questions are direct and directly from what we can discuss here right so now you you shall understand that every topic when we discuss when we start when i give you notes be mindful of that definitely questions are coming it's not like i don't know whether this will come or not such questions you won't get because definitely questions will be coming directly what you are writing same questions will be the same points you have to write in exam the point you are writing here will be writing the same point right so what i am trying to tell is be mindful don't get bored because you are getting marks that will make your life right that can make difference sometimes you don't know sometimes uh, one question you do not do well you might lose uh, the ranking just because of few marks if you would have done that question you would have into the selected list right so direct questions so let us start the syllabus uh, let us start the actual topic actual topic we have started yesterday only right that just that i did not give this 
uh, analysis of the syllabus. Correct. And tell me, like, could I use more Canada? Because in morning classes, simple issue, but but security is mainly we are doing for UPSC Alva. Right? Mainly we are doing for what is your name? Yes. Ah, Ranjita. Sanjay. 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 Who is Harish? So first topic, you know, linkages between development time. So Nene Agi the notes birthday the Salpa. Nene. And the notes work on the law, really just to ask. So now we will start with the Naxalism and all. Okay. We'll start with next. Give the give heading left wing extremism. No deal. And question had on the atmosphere in left wing extremism made a question mandit. Correct. So write down give heading left wing extremism. So before that, you want me to tell like uh, how our national security issues developed over a period of time. After independence. How national security issues themselves evolved? Issues evolution. Okay. Huh? Right. Uh, give the heading. Huh? 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 Starting from you can only discuss now. We can discuss. Tell me. issues I give them. Yen and go to partition first. Partition admel communalism would put that. Alva. Communalism is one power. Huh? Okay, that's fine. But after independence, partition in the communalism. Huh? Fine. During British also, British only it, it was started. Fine. But post-independence, how our security issues developed in various stages. So, small, full discussion better. So, understanding early. So, just write your heading. Uh, various challenges to internal security. What happened? Fine, fine. Early. Early. You already next year, Jamie Thady, Haki, and then topic skip part of it. I should skip the topic. Is that what you mean? No. That's fine. Uh, post independence. So first I don't first I don't Kashmir uh, like Pakistan Indo-Pakistan war Indo-Pakistan war right post independence Indo-Pakistan war 1948 right 1948 and uh, and also um, at the same time that before that only at the similar context partition partition of land partition of land Partition of land and people, which led to communal riots. Right now, communal riots, and that increased communal divide, and that has increased communal divide. Uh, sir, under uh, Indo-Pakistan war, you should write that, sir. Not under that. You write one sentence in that. Sim in that phase, few developments have happened. That is separate, but they are connected, right? Partition okay. time. 1947 partition time. Right. So can say it from first? Uh, I had framed, uh, there is a big paragraph here. I'm concising it to a few lines so that it will be helpful. Sometimes you can frame lines on your own. Right. So I, I was telling you, if I have to reframe you, first write down about partition. Okay. The partition of land and people, property huh, led to what? Communal riots led to communal riots. Okay, uh, leading to the increasing communal divides. Communal divide. See, nobody would ask you like exact lines and all, right? You should write in a, in a system in sophisticated manner. 
which would appeal to the examiner in your own words. But these important things like communal divide, they will appeal directly. After partition, communal riots have started and communal divide got increased in India. Th those issues, right? So it's kind of say communalism took birth. Hello, Dalvatara. Yes. Next, 1950s, 1950s, Northeast Insurgency. Okay, so actually there was a leader called Angami Fijo. Angami Fijo. So Northeast Insurgency was started under his leaders. Just write down this. We will discuss it again during Northeast Insurgency. So this happened in second phase early 1950s. The Northeast Insurgency was evolved during, was initiated under the leadership of Angami Fijo, right? So in 1960s, 1960s, Naxalism, right? Left wing extremism, uh, especially in the year of 1967, it started. So this was uh, why it was started. Naxalism, when it started, you should involve in the discussions. So this is not like some concept is there, uh, play tectonics, this is the force. I, I should not explain those things. So this is. Some of the things you already know, and uh, once the basics got mele, you should also involve. So, 1960s, I am saying Northeast insurgency and why it was evolved, why that issue was evolved due to failure of governance, due to failure of land reforms, right? And especially land acquisition and uh, improper facilities given in terms of rehabilitation facilities, right? So, because of those issues, what happened in, in Eastern India, in Eastern India, West Bengal, Bihar, and Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Odisha, in this region, what happened in 1960s? 1960s, extremism evolved. Extremism evolved, right? So, where mainly tribal people were residing, right, in those regions. So, you can just write down. Uh, because of those issues, what happened? Naxalism started. This is purely for your understanding. Purely for your understanding. So they may ask this question only. Like how uh, post-independence uh, describe the evolution of internal security challenges in various phases, post-independence. So in that, so this these points should be more than enough to write. Because anyway, in this Northeast Insurgency would study separately. So you have to write one or two points for it. So again, in 1960s, Axelism evolved because of various issues under the uh, leadership of Charu Mazumdar. Under the leadership of Charu Mazumdar. Charu Mazumdar. And in 1970s, in 1970s, you know, this should be done. Yes, my dear. In Bandri Bodhi, that's 1970s. Regionalism, regionalism. Okay, regionalism. Regional parties, especially Tamil Nadu, right? So the son of soil uh, policy and the creative son of soil, son of soil and the, the extreme gratitude and affection towards one's own motherland. Huh? Son of soil and the Mandina Maga. Correct. Atara. Alva. So it are feeling in the end code of the name. Regional aspirations, regionalism tendencies. Right. So that is also one of the Challenges to internal security, Indian unity. Alva, regional, it has both aspects, but negative aspect, Alno Daga, regionalism has, uh, uh, it affects Indian unity, Indian security. Correct? Huh? Okay. So, regionalism, extreme pharma, it can lead to separatism. Alva, 
then it will lead to uh, mm-hmm. movements like Khalistan movement in Punjab. Nam separate uh, country back and the Kirta. Correct? Huh? So, in 1970s, write down the rise of regional political parties. The rise of regional political parties. And uh, son of soil theory. And son of soil theory. Led to the issue of regionalism. Right. This is this is what happened in 1980s. Again, 1980s. What happened in 1980s? Nineteen eighties. Yes, madam. Operation Blue Star. Kelly there. Hmm. Yes. What is it? But overall, if you want to we can say kind of separatist movement or terrorist kind of movements in Punjab for uh, separation, right? For the uh, Khalistan movement. So that was our time in 1980. Was a big issue. So this was an, another uh, threat to internal security. So just write down separatist movements, separatist uh, activities in Punjab, separatist activities in Punjab. Bracket a little Khalistan, Khalistan, Khalistan movement. Khalistan. Khalistan issue, which is aided by neighbors. Aided by neighbors means aided by Pakistan, direct about it. In, was noticed. Right. So again in 1990s, 1990s, in Kashmir, militancy, Kumba issue just there. Okay, 1997, militancy in Jammu and Kashmir. The issue was militancy in Jammu and Kashmir, right? And also, exodus of Kashmiri Pandits, exodus of Kashmiri Pandits. That issue was also there. Kashmiri Pandits were. Driven out of Kashmir, right? Exodus of Kashmiri Pandits. So now, after 2000s, till now, major issues, you have issues, you have no? internal security, internet, and all. Bandi dalo. Idrinda. Digital crimes, yes. What? Cyber security issues, right? Cyber security issues, right? Fake news. Right, hate mongering, right, and uh, terror funding, T- terror funding. So these are new issues. Right on in two thousands, in two thousands, due to rise of uh, due to growth of internet, due to growth of internet, due to growth of inter- internet, new security threats, new security threats like. New security threats like fake news, fake news, terror funding, mobilizing the protest, mobilizing the protest, hatred, etc. Have evolved or uh, have taken dominant role in internal security what artha ita e time len ivak satya ke even cyber security also add that right cyber security so now let's start actually what exactly do you mean by naxalism? Naxalism. Yeah. Again, you're hitting naxalism. 
ಕೇಳಿದಾರ So those states which are affected by those states are affected by naxalism so there is a famous statement of manmohan singh who said left wing extremism is a greatest challenges to internal security he said left wing extremism is a greatest challenges to uh, is a greatest challenge to internal security right so you know the origin of left wing extremism because yesterday we had discussed many of the things adralli majority we have discussed about left wing extremism on yesterday now discuss matter adralli majority was about left wing extremism on so how it started basically it started as a agrarian fight andre for uh, uh, by upholding the cause of landless laborers and uh, landless farmers and marginal farmers right so ee tara tribal mainly tribal people okay so your causes it kondu movement start agit initially it was started as a fight against landlords only is to dodd all naxalism ee tara ondu organized fight mado intention irlilla when it was started so basically when 1967 when it was started under the leadership of uh, this char was charlu majumdar okay so it was not the intention to make it devel- uh, as a organized uh, fight against the government basically it was go- targeted against landlords because you know that before independence also this issue was there jamindari system uh, exploitation of farmers and uh, land concentration andre kelo bratra jaasti land irodu this issue we had discussed yesterday only that right. so and the uh, government of india of post independence has introduced this land reforms sealing the land limits and extra uh, surplus land should be distributed among landless people right this was the objective of land land reforms but it implement agilla you know the reason why it was not implemented why it was not implemented tell on the reason said yeah successful agilla ಸರ್ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಯಾರ ಹತ್ರ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೋ ಒಂದು ಸೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದ್ರೆ ದಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಅಮಂಗ್ ದೋಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ವರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಲೆಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಶನ್ ಬಟ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಿ ನಾಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೋಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಹಾ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಷಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಫೈನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜಮೀನ್ದಾರ್ ಜಮೀನ್ದಾರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹಾ ದೇ ಫೌಂಡ್ ವೀಕ್ನೆಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ವರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪವರ್ ಎಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಟು ದ ಪವರ್ ಸೊ ಎಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದರ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಟು ಬೇನಾಮಿ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಬೇನಾಮಿ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ right so and also you know, some of the things i told you yesterday uh, like declaring that this land would belong to a close relative of them right so they used various methods but they did not let their land go to others somehow they kept their land to themselves so this uh, so this irked uh, the local tribal population over there who were landless so in the leadership of this uh, majumdar they revolted first time in 1967 that is the year okay, okay. which year 19 1967 you organized what a violent violent riot or violent attack on jamindars and landlords okay i will dictate wait dictate first understand 
right in which year 1967 okay and this revolt happened in one village which village what is the name of that village naxalbari they call it as naxalbadi r they pronounce it as b naxalbadi naxalbadi village in which which, which state west bengal darjeeling district darjeeling district west bengal right so mainly this was the revolt of see ida baribek no exam alli if we have to write about uh, naxalism basics and all what will you write when it was started 1967 as what as a violent attack by whom tribal tribe by lines. poor tribal people by poor tribal people can you write this by whom by poor tribal people against against whom landlords yes landlords against the not just landlord against the in uh, against the discrimination and injustice meted out to them by the landlords right so i will dictate i told you i will dictate this wait tell it then i'll first understand and so if you know all of this writing it is very easy right few points let us understand first starting ela id agbar so this is how it started but later later late with time this moment took different turns it's initially started in delhi west bengal later it spread to different states and as it spread ideologies changed ideologies changed right and uh, the methods also changed and the target was also changed initially it was targeted for landlords but in time they were now with time what happened by next uh, few years they just wanted to throw the entire political system and uh, change the ruling okay for example they had this ideology of maoism marxism leninism basically they are communist ideologies basic so you should know this which ideology they have communist ideologies mainly marxism okay adar bage solpa gotta basics kottidru saaku we will not discuss that and make notes exactly communism is what communism is what yena just whatever you have understood with uh, with this word communism you can just discuss with hmm government so india is communist country or what no why it is not a communist country then what is india is capitalist country so there is no capitalism in india there is there is capitalism blend of both what socialism a uh, socialism and okay now you have come to socialism socialism and capitalism first artha maadkondi artha maadkondi illa andre yen definition gottidre yen use right because they will direct questions all world is still barbodu right there are some concepts but otherwise application is more important deep down what you think about it ha huh. you have talked about socialism and capitalism capitalism is what means means of production the means of production are in the control of private private, private entities or private persons right so private property is there private ownership is there private industries are there private industries idre there is uh, there are workers that the proletarian class in the karithiyalva right there is uh, bourgeoisie class and proletarian class in world history if you study these words will come across bourgeoisie means those middle class or rich class and these are working class class so a distinction create agirutte so it is based on this inequality but there is growth in capitalism because private is private ownership is mainly focused on where profit, profit. it is based on profit so for profit he will uh, i mean the private entities will focus on efficient use of resources efficient use of resources that will lead to growth and growth will lead uh, percolate to lower strata and overall development will happen tumma jaasti duddi dakkane kelagade development aagutte 
right so don't think like capitalism entirely bad and communism mm -hmm. is entirely good or communism is entirely bad don't have that opi uh, opinions but more or less capitalism is this capitalism will lead to inequalities correct so what is socialism so india you said uh, it's a mix of capitalism and socialism so this section this part is there in india uh, so uh, capitalism is there india there right adani reliance all of that you know right ambani's adani's okay so this is what capitalist so is there social and also there is a socialist uh, what socialism principles are also applied in india really what is socialism means of production and distribution that means mainly industries and all they are controlled by whom government public right. ownership public ownership right so that is there in socialism so in india we both we have both what is communism then extreme extreme form of socialism what communism socialism says there should be no state complete stateless right no private property no state stateless classless right and uh, complete absence of private property understood that extreme form of socialism is what and marxism is also same marxism is for communi communism and don't write communalism okay illa tumba sari silly mistakes agutte communalism is entirely different thing adu uh, that is a uh, conflict between two communities like mainly really on the basis of religion caste creed okay what i was telling communism is extreme form of socialism andre alli en irbeku stateless andre government system should not be controlled by few people should be like ownership should be given to the not just people but see people when you say ownership should be given to the people that comes to the democracy right so, but still there is a difference between democracy and commun uh, communism when you say democracy uh, you are mainly focusing on people right when you, the power should be controlled by like power should be in the hands of people when you say this this is democracy action india is a democracy because we the people of india we the people of india our preamble starts with this line that means the power to the constitution itself is derived from the people assent of the people correct so that is democratic communism says there should be no classes right rich poor bourgeoisie working class owners no everyone is same okay everyone is same and could be there could be kind of dictatorship can also happen in communism right maybe one single individual for example north korea it is generally considered to be a communist country right china china cuba china cuba so these are few communist countries where dictate there is a chance for dictatorship but in democracy that is not possible understood artha ge dia so these people have had which kind of ideologies communist ideologies that means mainly uh, there is a party or cpi right marxism leninism okay they are influenced by marxism so karl marx marxism is uh, the theory which was given by karl marx so what he says is mainly his main target was to kill the capitalism and to bring the communism socialism and eventually communism ultimate capitalism he was a you know extreme critic of yes. capitalism right so artha itelva marxism is like same thing uh, but it's like a um, theory for communism communism is the result marxism is like a theory for it understood understood these concepts so these pe people these people who who are now you know revolting against these landlords and all they are revolting against landlords landlords that means they are defending whom landless people working class tribal people poor so their best their ideologies are based on egalitarian society equality right equality equanimity so that was their concept okay uh, so first understanding their ideologies is important but now uh, ideologies would be polluted like mainly they are also like 
power mongling people they have become right they are political parties are also so they are controlling the power so uh, the beginning of the nexarism you have understood why and what right so there was lot of indiscrimination injustice against poor tribal people right uh, and also untouchability was also prevalent especially around scheduled tribe people over there right so they revolted uh, against landlords in 1967 under the leadership of this charu uh, mazumdar okay so uh, write down these few things so first write down what is left wing extremism so today first class salpa slow aitu slow in the sense you understood many things right huh normal agidiya okay so left wing extremism is what is the use of violence to uh, use of violence to destabilize to destabilize the state to destabilize the state to destabilize the state through communist communist guerrilla warfare ah this one guerrilla warfare no it right kelidarella guerrilla warfare ಹೆಂಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಎರಿಲ ವರ್ಫರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸಡನ್ ಆಂಬುಷ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಸಡನ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಂಬುಷ್ ಯುವರ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಶುಡ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಮೆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಜಿಯೋಗ್ರಫಿ ಜಿಯೋಗ್ರಫಿಕಲ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಯೂಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸ್ಕೇಪ್ಸ್ terrain right ha huh. what is this guerrilla warfare sudden ambush madodu hide out kolodu right right so because they know the land over there where to hide out and when to attack right and attacking from like from behind we don't know when attack will come correct right. such techniques and uh, attacking in groups independent groups small small groups not like dodda army to attack madodu allon group illon group illon group so these are like shivaji maharaj also use this uh, guerrilla techniques tumba jaasti right so barkondra yen barkondri to destabilize the state through communist guerrilla warfare groups right so it started it started in india next 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 paragraph or next line left wing it started in india in 1967 correct when it started 19 1967 under the uh, where where um uh, exactly right the next uh, naxalbari village okay in the uh, where at the uh, naxalbari there are actually three places naxal badi and next to it there are another two villages are there fansi deva another place is called fansi deva but naxal bari is the main center other uh, paddal iranta two more places fansi deva and uh, kori bari kori bari at these places okay in west bengals uh, Darjeeling district in West Bengals. K H O R I B A R I Kori Bari. Where in West Bengals? Darjeeling district. See after completing every topic, P Y P P Y Q S question कोड देने. You should solve. Extremism में ले there are last from ten years चले बंदे रहने तो नाल के questions बंद रहे. So write those questions. Your preparation is over. I'll guarantee it on those topics. except current affairs better almost most of the security topics will be completed correct ha uh, and leadership purpose starting ah uh, excess naxal bari a uh, urindane naxalism isirbut 
ಹೇಳಿಲ್ವಾ ಅದು ಸೊ ನಕ್ಸಲ್ ಬಾರಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ದಟ್ ನೇಮ್ ಕೆಮ್ ನಕ್ಸಲಿಸಮ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕಲ್ ನೇಮ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ವಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮಿಸಮ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ವಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಡೆಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ವಿಂಗ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ವಿಂಗ್ ರೈಟ್ ವಿಂಗ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ರೈಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ but right wing is revival of old traditions revival of old traditions for example bjp right anta kare rss and right right wing group anta kare because they want old indian tradition culture should be revived and properly ingrained in people right so that is right wing left wing says is basically based on the concepts of liberty equality right new changes modernization right so these are the concept godalva so basically left wing because they want to overthrow the present system and establish their own system new system correct right uh, i have forgotten the story of it i'll tell you there is a story for this yes <laughs> where uh, sorry we continue this and leadership parade slow it fast come on charu mazumdar hello stop right charu mazumdar leadership charu mazumdar kanu sanyal uh, three these three names are important number 1 charu mazumdar second kanu sanyal k a n first name is charu mazumdar ಕಾನು ಸನ್ಯಾಲ್ ಮಾಡರ್ನ್ ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತಾರಾಡಮ್ ಫೈಟರ್ ಮಾಜುಮ್ದಾರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸಿ ಚಾರು ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ವೇರೆ ಬರ ಮಾಜುಮ್ದಾರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾನು ಸನ್ಯಾಲ್ ಎನ್ಜಿ ಮಾಜುಮ್ದಾರ್ ಐತಿ ಸೊ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಜಂಗಲ್ ಸಂತಾಲ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ದೇ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೈಬಲ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಬಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಲೀಡರ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ ಹೂ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ okay they had this right on this they had this ideology cpi uh, or not tried ideolo- ideology is like communism marxism and communism marxism and communism so they belong to a party called communist party of india marxism cpi marxism okay marxism cpi marxism and next point en barkotira first revolt yav tara itto so it was a peasant revolt right it was a peasant revolt against landlords right i don't the first uprising the first uprising was in the form of was in the form of what peasant revolts was in the form of peasant revolts so next i don't evolution of naxalism in india evolution of naxalism in india 
evolution of taxism in India. So basically, there were uh, two phases, okay, of Naxalism. There are two phases of Naxalism. First phase started in which year? Nineteen sixty-seven. Nineteen sixty-seven. So it did not last long. No. Was suppressed by the year nineteen seventy-five. By the year by the year nineteen. And in this time, you know, the CPI Marxism was also. Uh, Marxism was divided. One more new party was formed, CPI. ML, Marxist and Leninist. Okay. In 1969, ML was formed. So, first is was between 1967 to 75. So, just write down a few points. In 1969, in 1969, write on the same point related to that. This CPI M. The CPI M was uh, divided into two factions. Divided into two factions. Two factions. So number one, this is CPI ML, Marxism and Lenin. Marxism and Leninism, right? CPI, Marxism and Leninism. And another one is AI C C Triple C R AI Triple C R. In bracket full form, All India Coordination Committee of Communists and Revolutionaries. All India Coordination Committee of All India Coordination Committee of Communist Revolutionaries. All India Coordination Committee of Communist Revolutionaries. Okay, this group was more radical actually. This CICCCR word, AICCCR word. This uh, Char Charu Mazumdar was basically belonging to this printer group. Okay, so this division happened after this Naxal Bari uprising. Okay, so this division happened after this. CPI was old. This was old. This was like formed pre independence. It's Communist Party of India, right? Communist Party formed in Kanpur in 1925. M. N. Roy and all they were involved, right? Have you heard of this in modern history? Was it there a communist movement that was started in? And world level put a communism in time to peak a little. Nan mother the 1920s time. For example, there was an organization called HRA, Hindustan Republican Army or Association. Hindustan Socialist Republican Association or Hindustan Socialist Republican Army. Yardo, who formed this? Modern Shodila, revolutionary nationalism and the concept. What is the name of that concept? That uh, phase in modern history, an international moment where it took a violent part. Revolutionary nationalism. Kildail, wah, HSR and the Bagat Singh and the Sikhalidira. Ah, Sago. Gender Sekar Raja, they're all belonging to this. Rajguru Sukhdev, all these people were there. This was this party, this association was formed in Punjab in 1925. Okay. So they undertook this Central Legislative Assembly Bomb Attack Agi 1929. And one more attack. What is the name of that attack? I'm just forgetting that. But a famous attack. 1925, Kakori, I think. Kakori. Kakori. Kakuri train attack. Yes, mm -hmm. Kakuri train attack. That happened in 1925, right? Mm -hmm. So that was conducted by the HRA only in the Sun Republican Association. So that those people are also like they wanted to establish socialism in India. So that was the period where uh, socialism was at peak. So you can correlate like this. That is why you could see that in 1925, this Communist Party was also formed in India. Right? That only that moment only got continued to form this CPI. 
Marxism, and also which again divided into AI, Triple CR, RMC, and got divided in 19, 1969. Correct. So this was the first phase. You just have to like same violent activity at that time. The mainly uh, focused on uh, attacking these landlords and all. So say, go for second phase, 1975 to 2004. Short again. These phases you should write in short. 1975 to 2004. So this is the second phase. This is the second phase. So now they, they wanted to go for endless war, protected wars. I mean, overthrowing established governments with the light objective. They started fighting and the movement started spreading to different parts. Now. Okay. So just write down second phase. This is a strategy, strategy of protracted war. Strategy of protracted war. Protracted means extended war. Protracted. P R O. T R A C T E D. Okay, and uh, during this time, the communist uh, uh, this moment was more uh, uh, you know prevalent in in the region of Bihar. Okay, you can write down that prominent uh, activities in Bihar. So next, next, either, either time, 1980, 1980, this is important. They found one special group, one special group, that name of that group is People's War Group. People's War Group. People's War Group. People's War Group. The, the, write few points on this. People's War Group. So this is uh, also called as, also known as A N A N A N M is also known as, right? Also known as Communist Party of India, that is CPI. Communist what? In, in, also known as. Now, 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 Also known as Communist Party of India, Marxist Leninist People's War. Hey, so also known as okay. Sumne do Yavagadan a shortcut of bring it in Bari Bodunta. An AK and Re AN and my bad. Also known as what? Communist Party of India Marxist Leninist People's War. People's War. Full complete abari, also known as Communist Party of India. Oh, uh, sorry. Huh. Communist Party of India, Marxist Leninist People's War. Okay, it formed as an underground communist party. CPI. Marxist Leninist People's War. Full. Party. It was like a group, underground group. They started violent uh, activities, attacks, ambushes. Okay. Underground Communist Party in India. Write down one import one uh, personality name who is associated with uh, this 
the it was founded in andhra pradesh this was founded in andhra pradesh in year you know 1980 by kondapalli like they are reorganizing themselves basically in the start month but they are reorganizing they are combining right so the party was founded in andhra pradesh in 1980 Uh, in 1980, that you know already. By Konda Palli, Sita Ramaya. By Konda Palli, Sita Ramaya. Sita Ramaya, la. Sita Ramaya. So, right. One more point. Uh, in 2004, something happened. This. it merged with this people's war group okay pwz it merged with merged with communist center of india communist center of india uh, no, not just maoist communist center of india alli sölpa m anta hakkol sölpa id hakkondo maoist anta barri maoist communist center M A O I S Maoist. See, Maoism is also one form of uh, what Marxism. Ah, huh. communism only, but Marxism with uh, some Chinese elements. Okay, for example, here the uh, one difference would be uh, working class. Uh, Marxism was focused on working class, but these people focus on uh, rural people. Okay, and. Uh, that was based on completely classless society and all but here a concentration of power is there in the maoism is more like concentration of power in under one person okay so sulpa difference is there it is more or less like marxism only like a uh, next phase of Ma, uh, marxism mao zedong anta kelidirala china dali so under him this was developed maoism marxism was developed under karl marx so yeah in bar country it merged with what happened it merged with maoist communist center of india to form communist party of india ha huh, to form communist party of india maoist bracket l m so now what happened in 2004 you already know So then, for what happened? This people's war group, people's war group plus CPI. What? They merged with whom? Come on, R D M. What is that name? Communist Center, right? Communist uh, Maoist Communist Center of India. Maoist Communist Center of India (MCC). So they merged with these two groups. Merged. So this was also established at around 1975 or something. So these two merged to form what? CPI. Maoism. CPI Maoism. Right. Yes. To back Maoism. Right. So third, uh, third, you can write it in third stage only. Right. Again, you can in third stage mention this because we were discussing about these people's war group. There, I told you that it merged with this to become this. So in third phase, this happened, and now currently, this is the lead. Ah, uh, this is the group which is leading. Right. So now this CPI Maoism is occupying regions of mention those regions, which is. Yeah, regions in the Barkwali, in the regions of West Bengal, West Bengal, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Jharkhand. Tell me, you where? Huh? Yes, Bihar. Next. West Bengal, Bihar, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, parts of Maharashtra. Okay, so together all these regions we call them call it as Red Corridor. Okay. So now this is almost like foundation we have 
laid down for Naxalism. Alva. Now we have to talk about what are the factors which are responsible for the rise of Naxalism, right? And how we are handling it. What are the government measures? What was the government approach? Right? So that we will study next. Okay. Uh, Idaita. Kerala. Kerala, there is a CPI party is there. Right? That is Communist Party. But the uh, Naxalism, I don't think it has it is there. Naxalism has spread uh, like everywhere recently, like a few years back. Even it has reached to Jammu Kashmir. Uh, there is now uh, Jammu Kashmir insurgent groups and Nax Naxal these uh, uh, northeast uh, sorry these uh, left wing extremist groups they are merging together coordinating to destabilize the country. Okay, and also northeast is also like coming together with joining hands with these guys. Okay. So next, I don't factors responsible for, or you can say causes or causes for the growth and spread of the origin and spread, origin and spread of Naxalism. See, in this aspect, we have already had a good discussion yesterday because we talked about uh, uh, extremism. In common, so some of the points would be linked to here on here also. Origin and spread of what we are studying, Naxalism. So tell me some of the fact the factors. Online error here, Beko. See one more thing I am telling you. Class only marta idhi valva. Listen to my advice. Chenagi uh, Artha Markundu, write down and make notes. Do it and keep it aside because these subjects, you will never get time to read them properly. Trust me, this happens. We have many, many things. First of all, you will be still uh, trying to get hold on your core subjects like uh, polity, ugly, 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 ugly. Right? So these subjects you won't get enough time to pay attention again. So this will remain your week area always. Right? Again, maybe you may not get this understanding. This Taramagi, Della Link Markondo, left wing and the every word research Madaka time back. So this patients would not be there. So general instruction for the Right, you can take it if you think it is advisable. Okay, so write down the factors responsible. Number one, land related issues are there, right? Land related issues. Can we not write this? Land related issues. Very well, So you know that land related first most important are there, Start again though. Land reforms failure again though, and uh, social injustice was like there already. But mainly it was linked to land only, right? Ah, tell me, what, what can you write in this? What can we write? Land related issues only. Now you know it, right? Failure of land reforms, yes. Failure of land reforms, yes. Land acquisitions. And they, especially that ceiling law, I told you, no, ceiling and the rest fixed. That was the main thing, actually. Because that is the core issue. Ceiling laws, and the ceiling laws were not same everywhere. And one more point I told you, have this understanding that these are not implemented by central government. Because land is state subject. And handling nationalism is also majorly the responsibility of state government. Because law and order is part of uh, it's a state subject in our seventh schedule, Article Two Forty Six, right? It is state subject, right? So central government also, whenever it is taking measures, it is trying to empower state police forces, modernize pol state police forces. The solutions not because there are other discuss Marthi modernization of state police forces, right? Understood this, uh, and here 
ceiling laws also should be should have been implemented by state only so every state only bare bare ceiling limits itto that is why i have not specified one single limit ishta acres obri irbek anodu ella state al same irlena one some states al 100 acres angit ceiling adrikinta jaasti idag matra distribute madbeku anta so that was not fixed in every state but in most of the states they haven't implemented it first of all they haven't implemented and wherever that have that have been implemented mainly in uh, west bengal and kerala that was nullified or that uh, was you know spoiled that implementation was uh, disturbed disrupted by these powerful entities understood so right on this failure of uh, land related fa factors ali failures of land reforms or evasion of ceiling laws Uh, and uh, within that you can write on evasion of ce land ceiling laws evasion of land ceiling laws next uh, almost last time nan nanne discuss made same that is why i told you nanne class al basics helidina alwa ad artha madkondre many concepts you can easily many facts like north east all similar points you can connect why it originated not right so next encroachment and acquisition those things time aitha in 5 minutes da bega barku encroachment and occupation and encroachment acquisition encroachment and acquisition of community lands community lands community lands right mainly for industrialization huh? mining for huh? forest also right Com forest lands that when i said community lands of course you can give some examples for community lands like common pastures community pastures village forest wetlands and all these places even lakes by whom by industrialists irrigation you know, for for irrigation project by the government itself right then one more thing uh, land related issue so you can write about lack of title tillers were not the owners of the concept right lack of title lack of title uh, on the cultivated land on the cultivated land by the landless poor many they were working as agriculture laborers right of course this is an outcome of failure of land reforms these tillers were not getting ownership at right so one more thing under fifth schedule there uh, there is there is a you know concept of having tribal councils and all and also transfer of tribal land to non tribal population also restricted but that was not properly implemented so that could be one reason write down poor implementation of laws poor implementation of laws prohibit which prohibit poor implementation of laws which prohibit poor implementation of laws laws which prohibit the transfer of tribal land to non tribals poor implementation of laws prohibiting or uh, transfer of tribal land to non tribals right there were some laws but which were not implemented then non regularization of traditional land rights non regularization of traditional land rights that means uh, right on this then we can discuss non regularization of traditional land rights ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕ್ರಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಟುಮಾರೋ ಒನ್ ಅವರ್ ಅಲ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫಿನಿಶ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಕ್ಸಲಿಸಮ್ ರೈಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಯಾರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೋರೀಸ್ ನೌ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ನೌ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿಯರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಸ್
so that is the advantage of discussing discussions right uh, so what does it mean non regulation of traditional land rights traditionally historically tribals were living in the forest they were using their tilling there they were practicing this jhum cultivation and all right uh, and they were easily they easily had access to minor forest produce like fruits these uh, tubers and a uh, few loads okay leaves and all of that minor forest produces but the ownership that these people uh, tribal peoples that they had over those resources that has not been institutionalized or not regularized in the sense that ownership was not recognized at all right until recently in 2006 something has changed what forest rights act came in that we have given some titles some rights to those tribal groups right so where they can now hold and legally they can uh, have the ownership of some land that was up to even there is some limit up to 4 hectares they can have the ownership of the land okay and also over minor forest produce minor forest produces also they can have ownership understood these points so but earlier these were the issues right so that also had led to you know Uh, this we can say forest policy related issues you can add separately one more thing in 1980 that has happened right uh, forest conservation act in that uh, what what was brought upon uh, what reserved forest reserved forest was brought in that concept under that the ownership was uh, they were considered to be illegal if they reside over there and uh, if if once that area is you know considered or declared or notified as reserved forest there is a complete prohibition on grazing or tilling or taking minor forest produce okay so such restrictions were imposed even that has not disappointed or started uh, you know uh, that led for these people to revolt against the system right so other aspects we will discuss tomorrow and tomorrow in first hour we will try to finish let's see we will not hurry and next because there are other forms other forms of insurgencies are also there so we have to finish this section in a day or two this section what is linkages between development and extremism because ex first form of extremism we are studying not naxalism understood so it takes one or two days to get accommodated yourself to the subject all these days you have you have never studied this subject right subject enter abakandre it takes some time so now i think gradually your your mindset is getting created what we have to study where and correct okay fine we'll see tomorrow